so what is a protective put strategy a protective put strategy is where you are going long on the stock and you are going long on the put option so as the name suggests it's a put but why this name of protective has come the name of protective has come is to because it helps you to protect your losses okay so if you uh, do the combination this is your stock and this is your put option long payoff okay if you combine these two what happens is see over here okay after a certain point this will give you losses okay and this will give you gain so this losses and this gain are compensated and what you get over here is a cap a cap on the the profit or loss whatever it can be lower it can be higher but you get this kind of payoff because loss and gain are getting compensated you are you have got some fixed amount okay now again over here this will be the point of your exercise price so this will be exercise price and the profit any at any stock price equal to exercise or less than the profit is fixed so this profit is fixed for that so if they ask you to find out the maximum profit the maximum profit occur at x, at x when the stock price it is x and then you have this as your break even price okay so please note that that break even price again it is the same concept this and this should be equal your break even price will be equal to your exercise price plus the maximum profit that you are making okay and here what is the maximum loss you can make here in this strategy what happens is so sorry sorry uh, this is your i'm sorry uh, i'm sorry this sorry <laughs> actually this should be like this sorry okay so because here your this profit i'm sorry this loss and this profit is getting capped usually you will suffer some losses so this is the max that you will have max loss just a correction you will have max loss happening at x okay because what happens is as the stock price is increasing you are you are getting a profit from here but you are not losing that much so your profit will keep on increasing so your maximum loss you, this is your maximum profit when your maximum profit is infinite because the stock price can ideally go to infinite right what is the break even price the break even price is your x what this we again we'll see the same thing whatever is this value and this value should be same so your x plus the maximum loss okay so usually what happens is because you have paid the premium you will lose here okay so rather than this you lose so what happens is this is stock this is put and this is a payoff like a payoff like a call option so if you combine as long in stock long in put it resembles like a long in call option okay where we have seen earlier we have seen in the put call parity call plus the bond is equal to put plus stock and that is what we are seeing over here so that again fortifies our put call parity concept right so in this case let's say we are taking an example let's say the stock price at which we bought the stock is 1000 okay the put we are buying at a strike price of 950 and we have paid a premium of let's say 30 we have paid a premium of 30 to buy this put okay so what we are seeing is we will be having this kind of payoff so the loss the maximum loss will happen at any point x or less than x any point here also you will suffer the same loss okay so at x you will be suffering the maximum loss so what we can do is we can compute at x what is the payoff in the stock in the stock the payoff is 950 minus 1000 so you have lost in the stock minus 50 correct and in case of put the premium that you have paid is 30 right so your total loss is 80 so your total loss is 80 now what we can say is your maximum loss is given by this is the exercise price minus the uh, stock price exercise price minus the stock price minus the premium that you have paid 
right? The strike price minus the stock price minus the premium that you have paid. So this is your maximum loss. So X minus S minus P. Correct? So in this case, your maximum loss will be because it has reduced 50 and then 30, 80 is your maximum loss. So this will value will be 80. Now what will be said about this break even price? We have said that break even price will be always here it will be because this party should be equal to this party. So it will be x plus your x plus your maximum loss. So BP will be x plus maximum loss. This will be the value. Correct? Your maximum loss, okay here I took the negative value. So here it will be x maximum loss will be your this. Right? So if you take this it will be s plus p. Your break even price will be this price will be p plus s. Now it can also be thought of as logically you are buying a stock at 1000. To buy the put option you are paying a premium of 30. So this is a expense of you. Yet, so your stock price has to increase by 30 to give you this payoff. Right? So if the stock price does not increase by that, this 30, you will not get the payoff. So stock price has to increase by 30. So your payoff will happen, zero will happen when it increases by a P. Right? So the break even point will be your S plus P. So whatever the S stock price at which you bought plus the premium that you have paid. So here in this case, it will be 1030 will be my break even price. Okay. And see what is your maximum loss. Okay. Maximum loss will be, sorry, maximum profit. Maximum profit will be your infinite. But let's say suppose they asked you to find out the profit when the stock price is 1080. When the stock price is 1080, the profit can be easily found out by stock price minus the premium that you have paid. You have paid the stock price 1080 minus the premium. So, uh, sorry, 1080 minus the, sorry, it should be, it should be the stock price at T minus S0 minus the premium that you have paid. So, the profit would be 1080 minus you have bought at 1000 minus the premium that you have paid. So, it is only 50 you are making. So, remember whatever the capital gain from the stock minus the premium that you have paid, that will be your maximum but that will be your profit but in case of maximum profit would be infinite. Okay. So let's see a problem wherein what you are having is you are selling us, uh, you are buying a put option having a strike price of 920. You have bought the stock, you have bought the stock at let's say 940 okay. and the premium that you have paid is let's say 15 rupees. The premium that you have paid is 15 rupees. Okay. We want to find out what is the maximum loss that you will suffer. Second, what is the maximum profit. The third is what is your break even price. Now fourth is find out loss when the stock price is at 900 and when the stock price is at let's say 960. Loss or profit. Find out the profit or loss when these are the values. So find out maximum loss, maximum profit, break even price, find out the profit and loss when the stock is at 900 or when the stock is at 960. Okay. Okay, so we can compute the uh, profit losses. So maximum loss, we have said that it will always happen at exercise price. So at exercise price, you can compute what is the loss you have suffered. So it is 920 minus 940, 20 is the loss you have suffered and you paid a premium of 15. So the maximum loss is minus 35. Maximum profit we have seen it can be infinite. The break even price will be your stock price plus the premium that you have paid. It will be 940, sorry, stock price, it should be plus or minus, plus, right? So stock price plus the premium you have paid. So it will be this 955. When 